So I often get asked by younger filmmakers or at Q and A's, you know, how do you get hired to be a director of photography on feature films or doc series? You know, what is that point in your career where directors or production companies see something you've done and decide, yeah, that's the person that I want shooting my doc series? And it kind of really comes down to just a few simple things. Um, some are a little harder than others, but the basics are pretty straightforward. And so we'll start with the hardest aspect of that first, which is, can you do the job? Can you actually shoot a documentary or a feature film or a doc series? And when I say do the job, I don't mean just update your reel with pretty images or go and shoot a spec commercial. We're talking about shooting feature films or feature docs or doc series. And so the only way you can prove to do that is by doing that. At the end of the day, documentary directors and producers care about people who are able to actually show that they can do it. People have a really hard time seeing someone's work for anything other than what it is. And so if you have a documentary feature that you've done, if you have a narrative feature that you've done and have created and have it out in the world, that proves that you can do it. And if you did it well, then people will come and ask you to actually go and make more of documentaries and features and DP their own projects. I think a lot of you know, young cinematographers um, might just think that's all oh, right, can you, can you create a beautiful image? And in today's day, that's just not enough anymore because Shooting images and shooting beautiful images is easier than ever before. What feature film and doc series DPs do well is that they create a cohesive look over the course of an entire project. Right? It's not just one beautiful image, it's not just a sequence of beautiful images, it's a collection of images that makes up a 90 minute or 120 minute film or a multi-part doc series. It has to look cohesive for it to, to work and that doesn't always mean just making a pretty image. That means doing whatever the story requires you to do. Before we made our two films for Netflix, our uh, documentaries Heroin and Recovery Boys, I was not getting asked to be a director of photography on anyone else's feature films or projects or doc series. Uh, even though I don't think those two films were necessarily my greatest cinematography work, I had done commercials and short films up to that point that I would have thought and said were much better uh, visually, but the fact is they were one minute shorts or a 30 second commercial or a three minute short documentary. And that doesn't prove anything other than that you can do that job. And it wasn't until I made those two Netflix films and proved that I can create a cohesive image over the course of 90 minutes do people actually start asking me to be a DP on other projects. And that brings me to my second point, which is can you tell a story with the images that you're creating? You know, every documentary, every feature film, every doc series has a visual language. And so it's your job as a cinematographer to create that visual language and then keep that consistent throughout the 90 minutes. Some films don't call for just beautiful images. Some films do need to be gritty and raw. Some do need to be beautiful, but it all kind of depends on what the story is. And if the images don't reflect the story, that is sort of in conflict for the viewer of what, you know, what sort of feeling they're supposed to have while watching the film. Listen to some of the best cinematographers in the world and they'll say something very similar. It's not your job to make pretty images. You always need to be thinking about the story you're telling and what it is that you're trying to convey uh, with your own cinematography and, and to help the director and the production team actually tell that story through your images. And then finally, I think it's maybe the simplest, but it's amazing how many people forget, is just be nice, you know, be a good person. You'd be amazed at how many jobs you can get just because people like working with. And you know, I've had a few situations where I've worked with an AC or a gaffer or even a production assistant who just didn't seem like they wanted to be there. They didn't want to be on the project and therefore sort of brought the mood of the whole project down or just made things a little bit more difficult, which is kind of just absurd in what I consider a very fun and privileged job to be able to shoot and create films and images for a living. Really just be a good person. And especially if you're shooting documentaries, you're often dealing with people who are relaying very sensitive stories and sensitive subjects. And so being able to be the person on set that becomes a calming presence rather than an antagonistic one or a stressful one or one that induces anxiety in the people around you, then you'll have a much better chance at actually getting hired to do the job. I think those are sort of the, the main three points I would always give is 
don't focus specifically on just creating beautiful images, right? Make sure you're telling the story you want to tell with the images that you shoot. And then also creating a cohesive look over the course of a actual film, whether that's 10 minutes or 30 minutes or 90 minutes, but you're going to have to prove that you're able to do that in order for people to actually want to hire you for a 90 minute film. And then finally, just be a good person. Be nice, be kind, and you'll get plenty of work. All right, that's it for now. See you in the next one.